Hello everyone, hello. Welcome back to my channel. I am KC and this is KC's Joy, where I make videos about dolls, dolly things, and miniature things that bring me joy. And welcome back to the doll room. We're back home, we're in the doll room. And this video, I am going to show you um, the dolls that I purchased at BarbieCon. The next video that I do will be the um, items that were gifted to me, either from the conference or from my table mates. Um, at the conference, you're at a table and some tables do gifts. Um, every time we have a tabling event, we give each other gifts. So that would be a separate video. So let's get into the dolls that um, I purchased. Um, I have several that are not in box. Most of the dolls I purchased were not in box and each doll I tell you the reasoning why I purchased that doll. And then I have some two, two that are in box that will stay in box. My, one of them might come out of box because the box is kind of rough looking, but we'll decide later. So this guy, I purchased him. I have him already. I purchased him for the body, the dark color body, and um, the outfit. He has on the cute little slides, BMR slides. I don't have these, so yeah. And I don't have this outfit. This outfit was on a different doll, I think. I'm not gonna fit, but I think it's either um, Insurgent or, it's not, um, Hunger Games. I don't think it's the Hunger Games outfit, but either way, it's a cute Ken outfit. And I needed this baddie for another doll that I have that is dark skin. So um, I got a good deal. It was better than the deal online because when you go on Amazon, some days he's $50, some days he's $39, but I got a better deal there on him. Plus I got a different outfit and some shoes. So I'm happy, of course, I'm happy with all my purchases. That goes without saying. I wouldn't have purchased if I didn't want the doll. So um, this is the first one. Okay, this guy, I got him. He was in a bin. It was like, um, ah, I got him as a bundle with some clothes. He had on a really cute outfit. I showed you that outfit already when I was showing you um, the clothes that I got. So that's why I got him because of his outfit, but I do actually like his face. I'm not really keen on his hair. So we might do something about the hair. I think I would like him to have dark hair instead of this blonde hair. Just the dark hair, I think, would match his facial hair a little better. So we might get him um, oh yeah, he's able to be rerooted and rebodied. So I will probably have him rerooted with some darker hair because he has highlights and all of that, but I just, I'm not a fan of the hair. But I'm a fan of his face, um, his face, because I think the facial, facial mode is very handsome. Oh, yeah. This guy, I got him only for the outfit. He was in um, like a $5 bin. He has a little rat tail situation going on. I already took the outfit off of him and used it. It was a shirt and jeans and it was a white shirt and white, just white shirts, plain white shirts for Ken dolls is really good. Like with nothing on the front, it's hard to come by. So I got him for his outfit and I already took the outfit off for him. Um, I will probably keep him just in my collection for like background dolls or anything i think he has the bend and snap knee um he has a little ring on <laughs> and this is his face i'm not sure what celebrity he's supposed to be i'm quite sure it is some um movie or tv show that he's based on i just don't know it <laughs> Now, the same thing with this doll. Now, I have her face. I have several of these, but she is on the, um, what body is this? Oh, they took the tattoos off her. Yeah, she is on, 
a curvy signature baddie. This is one of my favorite baddies. Um, you have the curvy made to move baddie, then you have the regular curvy stiff baddie, and then this one is the curvy signature doll baddie. And this skin color for this baddie is kind of hard to find. So that's why I got her. She, I think, I want to say she might have been $2, 2 or $3. So yeah, it was a good deal for this skin tone, this baddie. So I got her as a baddie donor. Um, okay. Oh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. All right. And these two guys in here, um, I got them from the same seller and I got them <laughs> again for their body. I'm hoping that my, um, I have a Ken doll that is slim and I wanted to keep him slim. I think y'all have, might have seen him. I, I did an unboxing. It was the doll that I got for my birthday from my friend. He has the side hair situation and he's slim. And the slim guys are slightly shorter than the regular size, classic size cans. And I've been looking for a body to keep him at that height because I, I like the shorter height. So we're going to give these baddies a try. I bought um, both color variations. These are two different. Um, oh, yes, that's a lot of glue in that hair. These are two different um, guys, but they're both from Ever After High. So both of these are Ever After High dolls, and I am really hoping that they want this guy. I think this is the color match for the guy with... Um, the hair and I got him as an extra because I could use him for another doll. If it works out, I could use him for another doll. His neck looks a little bigger. It's the neck issue that's I'm having rebodying that doll um, to give him some articulation. That's where it's coming in because his neck pig or his neck hole or whatever is really large. And so I'm having a hard time finding a larger neck. I don't know. For him to be a, sl a slim, shorter gentleman, he has a large neck hole. <laughs> it's just kind of weird. But anyway, this one came naked and this one came with the clothes. So that's cool. We have some extra clothing pieces. I like the top. The green top looks really good on him and I'm sure it'll look good on my other cans. So I'm excited about those two at the possibility that I will finally give that particular can uh, articulate it baddie. Awesome. Now this one, I am so happy, happy and excited. I have wanted this doll for a while. This is, hold your head up there. This is the Texas A&M Ken, the AA version. He is very difficult to find out in the wild. Um, and of course, the, the, he came out way before I was collecting, and they have only done this particular face mode, as far as I know, and been told twice. It came out when they had the Barbie Basics one. They were kind of like models. They used this face mode, and then they used this face mode again for this particular doll. So this is the Texas A&M, and I have taken so many pictures of him since I've gotten him. And um, yeah, you if you follow us, me on Instagram, you will see plenty of pictures of him coming very soon. I am so excited that I have him in my collection. Um, he is very valuable for my Ken collection. And my Ken collection is just growing and I'm so happy. I'm with that <laughs> pretty soon. I'm going to be more of a Ken collector than a Barbie collector <laughs> because I am so happy. And he is just a handsome fellow. I don't know. The camera and the lighting probably not doing them justice. But maybe one day I'll be able to upgrade my lighting situation. <laughs> oh. And what is it? Oh, I have some heads that I brought back here. And the heads were only, a, I want to say, a dollar, possibly two. Um, but I bought a couple of heads for dolls that um, I never did get these dolls and I was looking for, the, for them. And, you know, I can always find a body, um, a body donor for these. So this one, she was a fashionista 
and I never had her in my collection, so um, she's really pretty with the hair and everything. She's really pretty. She is really pretty. So she'll be, uh, I probably got a body somewhere around here for her. This one, I got her and the hair is already cut. So it'll be easy for me to decide what kind of hair I want to do for her. Um, I just got them, so I haven't decided yet. And then her, she is so pretty. Um, and I think I do want to leave her with short hair. I might give her some short curly hair, but I like her with short hair. I think her face is just so beautiful. Um, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm really happy with those. Yeah, I'm happy with all three of those purchases. Um, this is the dress. I already showed you the um, pretty silver dress <laughs> that I bought. I just had it in the same bag because it was on the same day. Now, here are my two box dolls that I bought. And um, one of them is a grill doll, I suppose. And one of them is just a doll that I was really, I really, really wanted. Um, <laughs> and I'm so happy I got her. So, it is Catwoman. That this is not the original Catwoman, this is Holly Berry. So this is Catwoman stars Holly Berry and opens in 2024. So this is the 2024, no, 2004. This movie was 2004. So I have her and here she is. She is so pretty and I love the outfit. And you know, some people didn't like the movie but I enjoyed the movie for what it was. I and then I like Catwoman anyway, in general. The original, well, not the original, but the Eartha Kit Catwoman. Um, I tried to look up that doll to see if there was a Barbie for the Eartha Kit. If there was, I've seen some images, but I don't know if those are really um, real images. And nobody has that for sale. <laughs> so I've seen the little action figure that's like six inches or something to that effect of Eartha Kit um, Catwoman. But I was looking for a Barbie version and no one has that doll right now. So maybe one day in the future, but I looked all over for that, that particular, the original and no one had her. So wasn't able to find her, but I did get her for a really, really good price in my opinion. And I was, I'm very happy with this purchase. She will probably stay in box. Um, this, this is a good box. It's not all messed up. So she will probably stay in box. So the next one I got, the box is kind of rough looking, but I don't really care. I, I really, I will probably leave her and box because this is Lieutenant, you, I am going to pronounce her name wrong, Yuhara, the original one, where it's not the remake doll, but it is the original one and it is so pretty. Um, She recently passed away and I was able to get this and the, there's a sticker on here for the price, but that is not how much I paid. The person in the room really gave me a good deal on this doll, way less expensive than um, what I've been seeing on Macari and all the other places. So as you can see, the box right there is a little indented, but that's not bad at all. It just, it's a little pushed in. But this doll, I am so happy to have her in my collection. This was one of the dolls when I first started collecting. I was like, oh, I want to get certain dolls and things like that. And this is one of, I wanted her, the original her um, doll. And she, this is the side of the box. It's just so beautiful. And I am a Star Trek fan. I grew up on, um, <laughs> it's funny, I grew up watching um, Star Trek Next Generation, but I watched reruns also of the original <laughs> Star Trek with her and Captain Kirk and all of them. So yeah, I, um, I am so excited and happy to have this, have her in my collection. I just feel like she is beautiful and she is definitely going up on my shelf. Well, 
my ledge where all my other um, box dolls are. All right, this was, this was one of my wins, in my opinion, for um, BarbieCon for me. This was one of my wins that I purchased myself. Now, the gifts that they gave us um, that I'll show you, show you in the next video are also wins for me. Um, one in particular that's not the most popular um, opinion, but there's one in particular that we got from um, Mattel that I am so excited to have in my collection as well. So, and I do have one more head, um, but I have to I forgot to put it down here so it make it easy for me to show you. So one moment, you're about to see me get up and reach for it. I hope I didn't shake the camera too much, y'all. So I got, I also bought this head um, because <laughs> I bought it because I liked it. I thought it was super cute. And I'm going to get work done to her to, um, you know, bring her back to life. But this is my midge. I got a midge head. And I'm so excited to have an original, well, I don't know original, but a vintage midge head. I am going to um, put her... Well, I'm sending her to get her hair redone, um, just her hair. I'm not doing anything with her face or any of that stuff. I'm just getting her hair redone. I ordered a body for her already. She's going to go on a um, regular body. I'm actually, no, I'm putting her on a made to move body because I actually want to play with her. Um, and I'm really excited to have her. Uh, I think we've talked a while about midge and the different midges and everything. They did not have the midge that I really wanted, um, which uses the diva head sculpt. They did not have that midge. Nobody was selling. And it's, the specific midge is called um, Happy, Happy Family, no, Happy Neighborhood Midge. And she comes with um, a denim coat and a shopping cart and all of that. Now, I have seen it on eBay with everything. Like, she's fully dressed. She has a baby in a courier, a little tiny baby in a courier, um, the shopping cart and all of that. The price um, is not one that I want to pay at this time. And also, I really don't need the whole set because... I just want the doll. Um, she doesn't even have to be fully dressed because my idea is that that particular midge I'm gonna play with and take pictures of and all of that. So I will dress her and everything. So I've seen one where the price is outside of my budget right now. And then I saw another one and I put in a bid on um, a naked midge, but the seller, uh, my bid expired because the seller never responded or anything. So. I am going to put in another bid. I'm going to wait and see if I can find another one and put in another bid and see what happens. So I'm I'm definitely having this one done. I already talked to um, someone that has worked with vintage kids before. And so he can do the hair and everything that I want and not hurt the head. <laughs> that is my concern that I don't want the head to split or any of that kind of stuff. I want to keep her face the same. I'm just going to have a vintage doll in my doll world and I want her to be safe. So we had a conversation and he he's able to do it and he gave me a good price for the work to be done. So I will be sending her out this week to get her taken care of. So for right now, she will be my midge until I can get that. Well, not until. When I get the next, when I get that happy, happy neighborhood midge, then I would just add another midge to the collection. Um, I'm kind of into midge right now. <laughs> so thank, that is my haul of the dolls that I purchased. Um, the next video will be a haul of gifts. And that will include um, dolls that I was gifted and won some dolls. Um, 
were gifts. And then there were other dolls that I won as part of the um, Barbie Con. Uh, there was opportunities to win dolls also. And I happened, like it was random. It was really random. And I happened to win um, dolls. So I will show you that stuff in the next video. Oh, thank you for watching. If you haven't seen all the videos, the vlogs that I did, I did seven seven days because I was there for seven days. The Barbie Con is only Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's only four days, but I went down a couple of days early. So I was there for seven days. So I gave seven days worth of vlogs. Um, it'll be in a playlist, probably listed either here or here, <laughs> somewhere down here. So click on the playlist and watch my um, vlogs. And if you have any questions, um, put them down in the chat. I'm happy to answer questions as best as I can. This was my first Bobby Con and I had a fabulous time. And yes, I plan to go again. The next one will be in California and Palm Desert. So I've never been to California before, so I'll be going to the con and it'll be my first time visiting California. Oh, um, yes, Barbie. <laughs> so thank you all for watching again. Please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you all really, really soon. Bye.